it's raining again today right that's where the bay trees were that have now been dug up and the next stage is to dig along there which I won't be doing here today I don't think because it's a bit wet but I will crop a few leeks and some potatoes uh, I'm going to get these leeks out, out of the way of the uh, shallops and a few from this end here and they're the multi sign leeks and I prefer them really when they're individually planted but some people say they prefer them when they're small I don't know well, I think that's how I prefer them the two on the right as opposed to the multi grown clumps that's a, a multi grown clump there and I think I prefer them as individual grown plants but do both right let's see if we can find some potatoes still underneath this grass well, so called Christmas potatoes uh, not so many on this side of the red currant bush pretty pathetic alright let's uh, try this clump and see what we've got underneath here well that's a bit of a dis disappointment really not an amazing success by any means few potatoes and the grass prevented them from getting spoilt by the frost but not very many so it's cleaned up this patch quite nice once I get rid of all this stuff so I suppose that's something all right well let's uh, finish that experiment off not sure quite what I'm going to do about these two growing together the oak tree and the red currant bush well if it wasn't in an allotment I'd say well leave them alone but allotments not really quite the place for oak trees anyway I've got a barrow load of weeds out of there on the well, it has virtually stopped raining now but uh, I'm uh, going to leave it for today the heat there that needs moving to the compost heat and uh, still lots of Lots of rubbish to clear up here. Six to clear up. But who knows? Might have some uh, nice leaks growing in here this time next year. If we do the work. If we do the work. <laughs>